Hello everybody, I'm going to show you the rather simple way of building Captain Redbeard's car from LEGO Racers. To start off with, I've got the 4x10 plate which is the base and I haven't taken these bricks off since you can very easily see which ones they are. This piece, these two pieces here can easily be sub um, substituted for a, a 2x6. I have gone with a, a 2x4 and a 2x2 because I don't, I don't have a 2x6 in old brown which is what this car is built out of all of the all of the parts in all of these cars my lego racers builds are all period correct in that they have the older colors so this would be older brown all of the grays are old grays the dark grays are old as well and even i've even gone so far as to include the older wheel design where they do not have the notches in the wheels for Captain Redbeard, you just need to have a 4x10 plate, and then each side needs four 1x2 plates facing forwards. And then on the top here, we've got a 1x4 here, a 1x4 on each side, and 1x3s. Leave two gaps here because these red steps will be going right there. The little area back here, which is black, this is where he'll be sitting, and this area is covered by, covered by these yellow bricks over here. This little recessed area is for his his uh, peg leg because his peg leg uh, obviously wasn't wouldn't fit flat on a stud, so he he just sits with his left leg in this slot. So anyway, all you need to do is get the one by four one by four plates with the wheel axles on each end, and put them in the middle of the two of the row of one by twos to give him the, the correct wheel offset because he has his wheels in the middle on each end then we have the two red steps overall this is a rather simple build but there are still some who say oh how do you build that and some people who even get the get the parts wrong and since captain redbeard is both this is the same in his game build and in the build you see in the um, intro animation um, he can be built. He can be built with three either version. All of the rest of the cars have different versions in each, and most people build the cars that they see in the game. Whereas I have built all of these as I see them in the 3D opening movie. Anyway, carrying on, you line the top with these little, the rest of these slope pieces, and then you have slope pieces. Here. Sorry, his his cannon, his cannon parts at the back are getting away from me. So there's that, and then you get a treasure chest, the uh, the booty is optional, I've gone with it since I had the chest, just put that right at the front, hmm, not close, come on, come on, close down, there we go, and on top of the chest goes a 1x4 uh, black tile, steering wheel goes in this slot right here, just, in, just behind the treasure chest, and then here, where some, a lot of people mess up because they they don't realize these parts these parts are used rather than the, more, the rather than the newer one by one with one stud on the front it's meant to be these old headlight bricks because actually those one by one studs one by one bricks with a stud on one side that don't have this little recessed area they weren't around in 1999 so the 3d animators didn't make didn't make it out of those parts so and there's also also these parts, the one by one round bricks, are often mistaken for the Technic, um, the Technic spool cylinders that can connect to a stud. These were around then, but they are also incorrect because if you look carefully during the 3D opening uh, animation, you can see you can see the ridges sort of in the middle, even though the animation is quite low quality, you can still see this. And then for this back bit. We'll go to the black one by two. So th this doesn't have to be brown. It can be brown if you really wish, but it doesn't have to be. And we have the yellow one by two with a clip on the front. And then we put the pirate flag there, put it down, and then of course clip all four wheels on. And it's as simple as that. That's Captain Redbeard. And his car. I will be doing a building guide on all of the rest and 
remember these are all from the 3D animation, so they are different from ones you may have seen other people build. So if you're interested in seeing how those are built, feel free to watch all of my rest of my videos. As always, down in the description will be a link to my Flickr page and my Instagram account where I will be post where I post new things built out of bricks or on LEGO Digital Designer or LDCAD. If you want to see the rest of the builds, they will be uploaded shortly. Thank you for watching.